Okay. Oh yeah. I, I've heard of the windmill. So how, how does, how does that play in? What is that the next step? Yep. So our next drill that we do once again, um, I usually, um, have the girls do the K that we just did, but now like do a step into it. But next after that, we put them on the ground, just starting to introduce the windmill and really working on getting that whip all the way around. And we put them back again on the ground with one knee up. Which knee up? So, um, it's actually going to be your opposite knee because so you want to have, side? yep, okay. yep. And on this one, like how you are, you want to make sure your hip is out of the way so you can come through and snap and finish up. When you say my hip's out of the way, what do you mean by that? Um, so you don't, so see how your uh, back leg is kind of at a 45? That's what you want. Sometimes um, people will put their leg down. And it'll kind of have it like almost like their hips are squared. You don't want your hips squared in this one because you want to still have it so your hips are open. Oh, yeah, because pitching, that's where a lot of the power comes from in pitching, isn't it? Yes. So yes. That's moving the hips through. Mm -hmm. Okay, all right, that makes sense. So, so when we're doing, you said the windmill, where, do I, where would I start? Would I come back like this? So everyone kind of has a different start. Um, just start with usually your hands together, and then you can rock back and then go around. Like a snap like that, and then a yep, okay. yep. All right, that's such a foreign movement to me, but I'm sure it is to somebody learning for the first time as well. Um, it really is. It's um, I always tell the girls when they first come in, like first day you're coming in, you're learning this. You don't have any muscle memory. You really haven't um, got really much introduction to this before it. So don't expect after day one you're gonna have this down and you're going to have that muscle memory it really takes a lot of repetition and uh i have people that are like i don't know how you ever did that and like well after you do it over and over again like your body just knows what how it needs to go and you really have to keep building on what you're doing um yeah it's just, it's, like, it's just like anything it's just like dribbling in basketball once you learn the fundamentals then you can mm -hmm. refine the the bigger things the you know, types of pitches and the spin on the ball and things like that. So you want to develop the fundamentals now so that that comes as second nature to you and you don't have to think about it while you're trying to focus on striking somebody out. Exactly. And it's so important, like not overthinking stuff or anything.